The world of GTA 5 Online and GTA 5 in general is very interesting and has a lot of intricate details that have only been discovered recently over the years. So today I present to you 25 interesting map facts about the world of GTA 5 Online that you probably, likely, maybe did not know. And if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe and leave a like. It helps me out a ton with the algorithm and everything YouTube in general. And let's get into it. Starting off with the fact that Rockstar never truly patches wall breaches most of the time. All they will do is simply add a kill barrier inside the wall breach so when you enter it, you die. Now I will give them credit and see me suffer here trying to get into Franklin's house, but sometimes they do truly patch wall breaches and we're to the point where you can't even get inside of it and there is no kill barrier in general. But there is really no purpose for them to do that because either way it gets patched, the kill barrier is more lazy to do it and quicker so I have no problem with it and it saves them time to make DLCs and whatever so this is just a way for them to save time while still patching the wall breach. At this location on the map there is a tire shop with two tires and conveniently a water tower thingy behind it and uh when you combine all of it it makes a uh well just classic rock star i'm sure most people know this one but it's just a classic i had to include it one day i was incredibly bored looking around my office and i noticed this vase and i looked at the reflection of it and it doesn't actually reflect what is in the office it doesn't reflect anything actually except for the desk and a couple of other things actually one pile of money but as you can see there's piles of money everywhere there's furniture there's tvs but it doesn't reflect none of that very strange and i'm not a game developer or anything i don't really know too much about the actual development side of things but i'm pretty sure it's pretty easy to add a reflection these parking lines outside of the maze bank tower float they're not actually on the ground this is strange because either rockstar just rushed this or something else because all you have to do is paint over it basically it doesn't have to be an actual 3d texture it's just like a drawing basically a sticker on the floor regardless rockstar still found a way to mess this up and uh they haven't fixed this since there are multiple garages around the map that have doors that actually open to the player most of these are used in either missions to collect or deliver a vehicle to but rockstar does not make it close after the mission permanently you can go back in there and keep on opening it and it's actually pretty cool when i used to roleplay back in the day i used to stash my car in these garages and it worked uh, for the most part a more useless fact but still interesting nonetheless there seems to be a brand rivalry going on between obey and ubermacht in gta 5 this can be observed by looking at one of these billboards which is an obey ad and then right across from it is a ubermacht ad that says disobey funnily enough at the time of making gta 5's map i'd say 2012 2011 whenever they started making it audi was not a huge player in the luxury car scene i'm sure they were up there with bmw and mercedes but these two billboards really should have been mercedes and bmw both of which have their own brands in the game so one that would make more sense is ubermacht and benefactor that way at the time both of those brands were competing but who knows maybe rockstar caught something we didn't and now audi is actually a very respected luxury brand and definitely up there with mercedes and bmw while there are many open interiors in the game like the o'neill's ranch for example and the blaine county sheriff's office none are enterable except for the pacific standard heist well the pacific standard building but mainly you can enter it in the heist and a couple of other contact missions as well but rockstar did not close it in free mode so you can still enter it and my only question is why it does have a very cool pretty detailed interior but so many other buildings like the other two i just mentioned do as well so why aren't those buildings constantly open to free mode I'm not too sure, it'd make the world much more open in my opinion, and the map of GTA 5 online would have aged much better in my opinion as well, but for some reason they chose not to. While collecting this next fact, I saw this deer uh, drinking water, so that was pretty cool, it's actually a pretty cool little detail here. But this slip stream of water, this small stream, actually comes from nowhere. As you can see, I'm gonna land my chopper here and we're gonna go up closer to it. It actually has no enter. Can I get the. Oh, can I? Like I was saying, this stream of water comes from nowhere. Now, it does seem like there is some sort of pipe below it or something on the ground, and then it opens somewhere, but there's no opening. Water just starts pouring out somewhere, and I'm not exactly too sure what that's about. Definitely a rushed element of the map for sure, but most people will not notice it. If you're ever stuck on Mount Chiliad, you can drink seven beers and pass out drunk, and then you will respawn at the nearest hospital which is the Polito Bay Medical Center and you'll be all fine and dandy. This is actually a very useful tip that I occasionally use very sparingly. If you don't have a heist teleport or a facility teleport and you don't want to leave the session, this is basically the only quick way to get down from Mount Chiliad or else you're going to spend forever hiking down and you'll never get down. But as you can see, it spawns you at the nearest hospital where you can call your personal vehicle and then leave. If you call the cops on Mount Chiliad, they will never come. Now, this is kind of strange because 
there is a road that they can take but it still doesn't really make any sense to me i mean i guess it's pretty hard to go out of your way and all that but they have helicopters so i'm sure they find out some way either way they will never come so do whatever crime you want on top of mount show yet i guess i always thought this building looked like it had lipstick now i actually did some researching online try to find this building in real life because gta 5 online is based or gta 5 is based on downtown los angeles and I couldn't find a building that looked like it, unfortunately. So it seems like this building is fictional. If you know a building that looks like this in Los Angeles, let me know in the comments. At the Stay Frosty Warehouse, if you go inside of it past this door barn looking situation here, and you go past the first barn door and you go on to the second one, you can actually see a snowman hidden behind some boxes. Now, if you get out and take a closer look, and matter of fact, if you even shoot it, it seems like it's snow coming out. I mean, it's a little bit hard to tell. It could be paper mache or something like that, or even wood, but it does look like snow is coming out of it, but it could be wood. Once again, I'm not exactly too sure on 100%, but it is still cold detail nonetheless, even in the summer when it is not snowing in Los Santos. The San Andreas Republic flag is obviously based on the California Republic flag, and it replaces the California bear with what appears to be a beaver and it also replaces the red elements of the flag with blue i'm not too sure the significance of both of these elements the blue i don't know maybe they're democratic or something but i don't know why they chose a beaver if you have an idea once again let me know in the comments certain dirt paths in the game are coded to slow you down a little bit more than regular dirt in general as you can see here i'm going around a steady 100 miles per hour and then when i go on a regular dirt path that is not coded or whatever I could reach up to 120 on the same motorcycle with the same upgrades and everything. So it does seem like certain dirt paths really do slow you down on purpose. So whenever you're on these dirt paths, try to just go on the dirt next to them um, because the same debuff will not be applied to you, in theory at least. Some electrical boxes across the map will electrocute you if you go on top of them. Longer term players of GTA 5 Online know that these are used in parkour missions all the time because there is something fun that you have to try to get past without tripping the electrical part of it. And you could do that by basically jumping in the middle. If you don't hit the coil part of it, then you're fine. You won't get shocked. But it's definitely very cool and pretty detailed. There are a couple of these around the map. There's one right here and there's one right here around the windmill area. There's another one right here there, oh, around the windmill area a lot and in Sandy Shores for sure. But they are definitely fun to mess around with for sure. There can only be one train on the map at any given time. Now you may be saying some missions spawn trains and most of the missions that do this actually spawn trains that do not move. They're just parked somewhere um, or whatever the train term is for parked. They just stay there and they don't actually move around the map. So that's how Rockstar is able to get away with that. And I assume they do this because eventually if multiple trains were on the map, at least two, they could actually intersect and collide with each other. Then that would be very buggy because I'm pretty sure Rockstar would not make them actually crash. Despite the bulldozer being around for all these years in GTA 5 and GTA 5 Online, you have never been able to purchase it. But it does reliably spawn at certain places around the map. Basically, wherever a Pegasus land vehicle spawns, most of them, this will spawn as well. But I do find it a bit strange that after all these years, it has never been added to pegasus at all you can't buy it on any website warstock cash and carry nothing but i assume it's kind of pointless you could just find it on the map and you'll be good to go but me personally if i was able to buy one i'd probably buy one no gravestone or any sort of memorial place in the game can be destroyed you can shoot as many rockets at them as you want but none will ever get destroyed even though these are fictional characters i think rockstar just didn't want people to blow up random gravestones i mean that's kind of weird to do anyways i'm doing it here but it's for it's for the gameplay i promise i'm not i don't usually do this but it's definitely cool nonetheless i'm pretty sure in red dead you actually could break gravestones i swear i've broken one before not that i go around doing that but all right next fact each movie prop you get for solomon will actually spawn in his office at a certain place here i don't even know what it was to be honest i took this clip completely out of context not even for the video or anything and i picked it up and it told me to return to solomon's office then i learned it was a movie prop and then i learned that it actually has a place in the office and all the other props do as well too so that's pretty cool definitely a cool detail i don't actually know what happens if you collect all of the movie props uh, but i'm sure you can find it on youtube somewhere this sign says look both ways with a picture of what appears to be a trolley car or some sort of metro um, but this is not a metro track. This is a train track, as you just saw right now, that only trains drive on. So it appears that Rockstar also rushed this element a little bit or somebody just didn't put much thought into it because there is no metro that runs through here. I'm pretty sure they have a train sign in the game because I've seen that before or at least a railroad crossing sign. So not sure why they didn't use that. And also that car just drove extremely strange. There is a cargo ship at the Los Santos docks that is named the Octopus. I'm most certain this is a reference to the ship that Nico Bellic arrived to Liberty City 
city on called the platypus both are aquatic creatures the octopus a bit more than the platypus i'm pretty sure i'm not a you know animal expert or anything but as far as my google education tells me pretty sure the octopus is more aquatic but definitely a cool nod to gta 4 and i believe the platypus is actually not seen in gta 5 at all as you can see here i walk up to this vending machine and i buy a soda whatever as a normal vending machine would do it gives me a soda but if you shoot the vending machine even a couple of times the vending machine will no longer work and this never made sense to me because I get that you probably shot something in the vending machine, but for it to completely not even work is kind of crazy to me. Not to mention GTA 5 Online is always chaotic and people are always shooting these things for no reason. So it's very hard to find one of these that work occasionally. Most of the time you will find one that works, but sometimes they're broken and you just have to go somewhere else. There's a company in Polito Bay named Jay's Bonds, which I believe is a bail bond company, but this is most definitely a reference to the movie franchise James Bond. I've actually never watched James Bond, but I've heard it's pretty cool. Pretty much a British John Wick or something like that. And uh, I guess Rockstar wanted to pay tribute to them or something. Not too sure what's about that, but it exists and it's in Polito Bay. Inside the air traffic control tower in Fort Zancudo, there are many screens, but one of the more notable ones is a map of the United States, the continental United States, with a bunch of dots all over it. I'm not exactly too sure what this is i was thinking maybe it could be military bases scattered around but i really don't know if anyone has any idea of what this possibly could be maybe you know you're an aviation enthusiast or something let me know in the comments but from an outsider's perspective i have absolutely no idea what this is or what it could be in one of michael's loading screens you could see the background of the city and lester's warehouse and also the bridge next to his warehouse however if you try to line up his position it's actually impossible and i think that they just mirrored the image or they flipped it because here i'm trying to read it and it's physically impossible the other side of lester's warehouse does not have that same bridge so it's definitely not that side i actually think it does but the bridge is way too tall it doesn't look anything like it so yeah apparently they just flipped some sort of image or something not exactly sure why they did it because this image looks just fine to me but who knows rockstar thinks better than me and that is it everyone 25 interesting map facts you probably didn't know in gta 5 online i really hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did please subscribe i upload mm, consistently if you want to count april fools as the whole month and hopefully you stick around and enjoy my content i try to upload as much as i could but uh you know circumstances kind of push back this video a little bit but here i am and thank you all for watching i really do appreciate you all have a great day or night or evening and i will see you all later goodbye